Morning guys. Jeez, look at the conditions out here. It's like glass. Check out the watercolour too. Have a look at that. Brown as mud. We had a couple of days of rain. A good 100 mil of rain. And there's a lot of storm water stuff in the system. Weed everywhere, sticks everywhere. You can only see about 10 centimetres into the water. So I thought I'd come and have a look in the lake. Haven't been in here for a long time. Well, for a while anyway. And we've got a good selection of lures here. I've got an 85 mil Samaki there in the lime green. I've got a Trans Am there in the darker colour. And I've got a Nomad Swim there, 95 in a clear sort of colour there. So we'll give them a good run today. The fish aren't going to see the lure. So these vibes may work well. They may be off the bite. There's so much colour in this water, but you never know unless you have a go, guys. So not many boats out here. It's good we're out here with, you know, look at the water. It swells, just, that's from big seas out there, with about four metre swells, 16 feet swells, so big swells out there. I dare say some big fish would have got pushed, pushed in the system. Whether or not, or not they're on the bite, you can get them on a lure, it's another thing. Anyway, we'll just drive along, keep an eye on the sounder. Got side scan and down scan going there. Just see if we can find some fish. No secret spot here, guys, just motoring until we find those fish. Always on the move in here. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit me off. Lucky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very lucky. Yeah, a bit of tailor, I suspect. You never know. Yeah, nice tailor. One for the smoker, mate. One for the smoker, beauty. That's what we're after. We're just talking about we want a couple for the smoker when we get home. Here's a nice smoking side. And there you go, perfect. So, give me a little cut in the gills, mate. Prep them up nice. So they're in here, eh, the big ones? Slightly bigger? Nah. Slightly? Mm. Nah. Yeah, slightly. Oh yeah, slightly. <laughs> oh, sit still, bro. There's fish jumping everywhere, bro. Going back is fine. The more you jump... <laughs> it's, epic. it's every cast at the moment. It's just fish after fish. No real big ones, but... Well, no. Oh, I got two at the same lure. Oh, but he just fell off. Oh God, he just fell in. There's fish everywhere. They're, at the, they're literally a meter off the back of the boaty. Fish jumping everywhere. I wouldn't read about it. There you go. You got two. <laughs> got two on. Double prizes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Two on the one lure, there you go. <laughs> Tell you what, the Willy Wonka River didn't help us at all thought maybe we might get into some fish with the lures but we only got Taylor. 
very hard fishing so we're pulling the pin early the winds up now which always makes lure fishing tough but we're pulling the pin early and we're going to do a beach session this afternoon you can always rely on a good session on the beach especially after these big seas should have washed the beach up a lot and there should be a lot of fish down there but you never know till you get down there so we'll go back there this afternoon i'll see you on the beach afternoon guys down the beach like i said i'm gonna go fill a half a fill of the tailor on the nice big chunk really brown water here too so let's get it out there you never know we might get a mull away on that weed out here. Be from the big rains we had, big swells. Really quieting down quickly. Two days after the big rain. Got one here. Nailed me like a ton of bricks. Oh, jump, must be a tailor. Not a bad tailor. Geez, I can't get away from these guys. They're in the lake. They're on the beaches. He's not a bad one, but good for bait. I'll keep him for bait. Beautiful bait size. I'll get a couple of fillets out of him. Who knows? You never know. Catching them. Nice fish. Nice fish indeed. Nice fish indeed, this one is. Feels a bit dewy actually. That is a horse of a salmon. An absolute horse. Look at the size of that one. 
few kilo in that. Jesus. Well, it's that time of year, guys. First salmon off the beach this season. Jeez, what a brute. What an absolute brute. Put a few kilo here, I tell you. What an absolute beautiful fish to that. Let him go, swim again. Too much fish for me. certainly noticed the change in season it's amazing we had that huge cold front push that big storm 100 mil rains in even more than 100 mil and just turn the water away to mud but that's the change in season and it pushed the tailor in um, the salmon started coming in it's just a change so things are going to start getting different but as you can see I just took the tail end fillet off the tailor there so just the beautiful little cuts and we'll keep these bones, none of it's going to waste. So we'll keep that ad later, just that beautiful fillet. We've got the head and everything in here, frame, the whole lot. And we're just going to cover this in water, probably about 20 mil above the fish. And then we'll boil it right down till it's just basically falling apart. And then what we'll do is we'll strain that out and we're left with a beautiful fish stock to do whatever we like with. But I think I'm going to make a scallop chowder with the tailor base it should be beautiful it really should be it's lemony creamy salty and i think it really you won't find it in recipe books because generally everything i cook you i wing it and you may find similar but let's just get it going and we'll see how it goes hopefully it tastes good at the end that's all i can say as you can see i've got the water just covering the fish there so that's all going to boil up nicely, get the lid on. And you want to cook this for a fair while, a good half an hour, 45 minutes, just to basically the bones are just pulling out by themselves. And then we're going to strain it right off. And we're going to add our flavours to the stock. And I tell you what, it's the best fish. Taylor, any of these oily fish are the best fish to um, make this stock out of. And when I put this in the fridge, it actually gels like jelly. And I can tip the whole pot upside down and it won't fall out. And that's just really good for you. Really good for your bones and joints. And yeah, I'll tell you, we're missing this stuff in our food. Natural gelatins and stuff. Alright, we'll let that cook and we'll come back when it's ready to go. Alright, let's have a look-see. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'll just give her a little stir, make sure it's all broken up. <laughs> Look at the head. The head the head has just totally disappeared. There's the head there. It's all that's left of it. All the bones, it's like the cartoons, fish has come off beautifully. So all the cartilage should be cooked out of the um, bones. It should be the thickener, the natural gelatin. Alright, so all we do is tip it straight in the strainer into another pot. Beautiful stock. You really can't get a better stock than this. So we're going to squeeze all the flake, all the juice out of that.
Not a simple way, it's just use a potato masher. And squeeze all the juice out there, just make sure you get every bit of nutrition out of it. Every bit of flavour. How easy is that? You're just left with all the bones in the, in the strainer and you're left with a beautiful soup underneath. Which is a perfect stock for what we want to start with. Why would you buy it? It really is perfect. Alright guys, here's where the magic happens. There's the tail end of the tailors where I just took the tail off. Boneless little chunks. So we're going to just pop that in the soup. And that's going to add more flavour and it's going to be base in there as well, the fish. It's the structure for the soup. Look at these beautiful scallops. These are just frozen ones guys, straight, straight out of the freezer. Beautiful condition, nice big ones. They're going to go in towards the end. We don't want to overcook them too much, but it's not really going to hurt it too much in the soup because it's just going to cook through. It's not going to shrink up too much, it'll be fine. And what we've got here is coriander and, gar and parsley. You can just use parsley if you don't like the coriander, it's a total choice. And just chives and lemon. Going to put a heap of garlic in there as well, and just salt, pepper, and cream as well. I'm gonna add a bit of cream to it at the end just to make it a bit thicker. And I've got garlic bread, garlic and herb bread over there ready to go. It's just gonna be beautiful for these winter nights coming in. And I tell you, you won't wanna th throw your tail over away after this. Any of those type of fish you really wanna utilize after this, I tell ya. All right, so we might as well get the garlic in there, get those flavors cooking. And we want a good dollop of garlic in this. Nice, healthy, you can use fresh garlic, obviously. I'm being a bit lazy with the jar stuff, but obviously you can use fresh stuff. I'm gonna get the um, chives in there. We'll save a bit of them for garnish towards the end, but we'll get most of them in there. I've got the parsley and coriander for garnish as well. to get that beautiful look about it. Look at the oils on that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's just glistening. You can just see the oils just shining on top. Get some lemon in there. You can add it towards the end or the start. I'll add some at the start and towards the end because you find it actually cooks the flavour out a little bit if you add it right at the start. So we'll add some now and some towards the end. Give it a bit of seasoning, pepper as you like, and salt as you like as well. You don't salt too much because you can always add more. You can always add more salt towards the end. So yeah, you don't want to salt too heavily or pepper too heavily. You leave the option at the table. So that will already have some flavour in there. But the more it cooks through, the more the flavours combine. And I'm hoping it's just going to be beautiful towards the end. Especially with those scallops in there. That fish is almost cooked already. Doesn't take long. So I'll let that cook for a couple of minutes. And then we'll come back and add the scallops in there. And they're going to add a really nice flavour to this soup as well. Okay, that's looking pretty good. You can see the lemon made it... I'm not boiling it too rapidly because you don't want it to get all foamy and that. You just want it on a low heat. You can see the soup's going all nice and cloudy from that lemon. It's going to have a little taste here. Yeah, that's nice. Subtle, beautiful flavours. You notice everything's really good for you too. The parsley's an antioxidant, the cleanser, 
and yeah, just really good meal for you, really healthy. Get those scallops in there. These scallops are gonna add a great flavor too. These are quite nice and subtle flavor, just like the soup. It's quite a thick soup. A lot of stuff in here. Got the tailor, the scallops. Jeez, it's gonna be nice. I must say I haven't tried haven't tried it before, but in my head it's gonna be wonderful, so. I've got a little bit of paprika here as well. Paprika, paprika just adds a bit of depth to a lot of things. It adds a lot of depth. Put a sprinkle in there. And then we're going to add a dollop of cream in there just to thicken it up a little bit. These scallops won't take too long to cook it's very they would have just dropped the temperature a little bit in there too but probably only going to cook them for about five minutes in there just to get the flavor through cook them through fully we might add that dollop of cream towards the end okay that's been cooking for about five minutes should be starting to get oh yeah those scallops have shrunk down a bit little taste it's a very subtle clean flavor it really is so we're gonna add pretty much all the parsley and coriander and we'll just save a little bit of parsley for at the end there just put on in top of the bowls I've had a taste I reckon just a couple more quarters of lemon will do I reckon that would be about perfect. I'll add a bit more seasoning once it hits the table in our bowls. We'll add a bit more seasoning there. That's starting to get those flavours in there. I've got the garlic bread going. Whoa, that's looking pretty much ready there. Lucky I checked that. Bloody beautiful. Whoa, that's going to be nice in that. Nice and crusty. Okay, we're going to add the dollop of cream now. Gonna go one spoon of cream in there to begin with. Have a little taste. And I reckon I'll probably add a, add a bit more. Yeah, it just adds a creamier, thicker feeling soup. I'll go one more dollop, I think. So clean the flavours in this. It really isn't one bad thing for you in it. Maybe the cream, but even that has its benefits. Alright, let's have a taste of that. Wow guys, that's getting really nice, really clean, really nice. You can add more seasoning if you like, you can get creative as you like. I like to keep it nice and simple when I get the flavours from the garlic and herb bread there, homemade stuff, and um, it's going to be beautiful. Let's get it on the table and give it a good go. Look at this, guys. Sometimes, I tell you, I spoil myself. I really like, live like a king. Let's give this a go. This is what it's about. Nice, crusty garlic bread. That is so beautiful, so good for you. And on these coming into winter, colder days, it's the kind of thing you look forward to after you've been in a fishing session. That is so good. Let's try these scallops out, eh? Give them a little try. 
Mm. Like I said, everything's a subtle flavour, a clean flavour. Scallops are a light flavour. Taylor's a nice subtle flavour. Then the, all the herbs. I'm going to add a bit more seasoning to it. That's one thing I did forget. But with this, really don't need more seasoning. You can add chilli, you can add whatever. This is like a perfect base to add whatever you like to. And as again, you can feed so many people off little fish because you're making a big stew, stock out of it. Cheap feed. Oh. So good. All right, I'm gonna eat the whole lot of you. If you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you on the water. Catch us.